Hello devs, another two minute tools and tip Tuesday here. This week, we're gonna take a quick look at how we can write more effective commit messages. Trust me, your future self will appreciate taking the time to write more effective commit messages. So let's start with some examples of ineffective commit messages. You notice here that these are all very short and non-descriptive. In general, these commits give very little additional context as to what was going on and why the changes were made. Contrast that then with these commit messages. Here you'll see that we have a first line on each message. That first line gives much more detailed description of what the change was. Additionally, on two of the commits, we have additional lines of text that give additional context about what the change was and why it was made. If you were to go back and read these commits in your Git history, you would have a much more clear idea of what was going on at that point of time and why the commits were made. So to help us along, let's look at eight tips for more effective commit messages. First up, avoid trivial commit messages. We saw that in the first example with things like bug fix or miscellaneous changes. Make sure that your commits actually provide meaningful context. Next up, describe the why and what of the commit rather than the how. The changes in the diff show how you made this, but what the commit message is useful for is understanding why that change was necessary or what was changed. Those provide much more additional context so that you can understand what was going on, who may need to be contacted, and it'll give you a better understanding of how that commit fits in with the commits around it. You can also include relevant feature or bug ticket links within your commit descriptions. In the first example of an ineffective commit, we saw a commit message that was plainly bug fix. If that had included a link to the specific bug, then you would be able to go back when viewing your history, follow that link, and understand and see any additional conversation around that bug. It's also sometimes useful to include a little annotation of the type of commit. This could be as simple as adding the word feature or bug or engineering next to the title of the commit so that it's quickly understandable from the history. It's also a good idea to keep the first line of your commit to less than 50 characters. This makes them shorter, easier to understand, and GitHub often truncates the description after 50 characters, especially for PRs. It's then also useful to leave the second line blank. This gives a nice separation between the title and the description and makes it easier to read. Wrapping lines in your commit body can make it easier to read because you won't need to scroll when viewing the text within a text editor. Having clean breaks between lines in the commit body can also make it easier to parse individual elements and just easier to understand what is going on within that commit description. You want to think of your commit history as a novel documenting your project's history. The easier it is to read, the easier that history is to follow. That'll be much easier than down the line to understand why a change was made, or to be able to go back and undo it or to find additional context that might help you understand what something was and how you might need to modify that in the future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you want more tips and tricks, you can check out my full playlist. And if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, you can hit the subscribe button. Until next time devs.